What's up everyone? Welcome to Recipe Magic. Today we are making Easter special Dutchess potatoes. These are perfect fancy smanshi mashed potatoes piped into fancy delicate little swirls which are browned in the oven until they get crispy on the outside while being moist, soft and fluffy on the inside. These are perfect Easter side dish. Goes great with ham or prime roast. So let's get the recipe started. There's an amazing little story behind these Dutchess potatoes which I'll let you know once you watch the full recipe. So first of all, you just want to grab a handful of potatoes and chop them up roughly and once you've chopped them add them to a pot along with some water and also some salt and cook them over low heat for 20 to 25 minutes so that the potatoes get perfectly fork tender now just check one of the potatoes so that it gets perfectly fork tender or not and you can see they are perfectly cooked within 20 to 25 minutes use a colander to drain the water and add the potatoes back into the pot Put the heat to low and toss them for a minute or so so that all the moisture from it gets evaporated and also it releases the steam. Now use a potato masher or any masher that you have to mash the potatoes really amazingly and finely. This is a very important step and you want to mash the potatoes perfectly. Otherwise all the lumps will get stuck into your nozzle type tip. And once you've mashed the potatoes perfectly, next we are going to add a couple of ingredients to this. First coat in some unsalted butter. Next, some egg yolks, a bit of salt, cracked pepper, some nutmeg and also some heavy cream. Remember to use egg yolks and not egg whites here. Egg yolks really help into holding the shape of these Dutchess potatoes perfectly. So once you have used all of these ingredients, combine all of it together so that it gets well incorporated with the mashed potato mixture and you have a perfect gluey consistency of the dough ready. This should be resembling the shoe pastry dough. And once you have made that, then transfer it to a piping bag with a large star point into it and pipe the potatoes gently on a line baking dish. pipe them into a line baking dish, brush them gently with some melted butter so that you have a perfect golden brown top which will get crispy and delicious once these get baked. You just want to bake them at 425 Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. Do not forget to brush them with melted butter because that is what makes these Dutchess potatoes really fancy and you have the perfect golden brown crispy top which makes it so delicious and just perfect for the Easter season. And there you go, within no time, my Dutchess potatoes are baked and ready. These are perfect for Easter and they, I'll just garnish with some smoked paprika and freshly chopped parsley and these will be good. Everybody asks me why is the name Dutchess potatoes for this one and who is the Dutchess in honor of whom these are made. These po Dutchess potatoes are a fancy way of serving mashed potatoes which is a common thing in French cooking. Also, the name spread from England and America, where people believe that fancy frilly patterns are also a reminiscent of a shirt or a hat which gives it the name of the Dutchess potatoes. People believe that the name Dutchess potatoes come from a French aristocracy which was popular during that time. Hope you enjoyed watching this recipe with me and learning this. Thank you so much for your time. Please subscribe to my channel for more such easy and quick Easter recipes and have a great Easter everyone.